Colorado Springs Films here today with another video. Today we will be comparing electromagnetic versus longitudinal magnetodielectric waves. So, I'll show you my test equipment right here. What we have is a Paco Model G30 radio frequency generator right here. All right. We'll be working on the A band today, which does frequencies from 160 kilocycles per second to 500, I believe. Now, this is my vacuum tube voltmeter that we'll be using. We have a capacitive probe in right here to the voltmeter. We'll be working with this to uh, find our resonant frequency. Now, let's get started. First, we'll be starting with electromagnetic transverse waves on this coil here. Although those are more prone to longitudinal, we'll get started. All right, let's get the test set up. So what we have here is blocking capacitor to help the potential in grounds and not destroy my signal generator. So we're going to be sending the RF impulses into the neutral on the bottom of the Tesla coil, secondary right there, and the capacitive probe will get picked up by the top of the coil right there. Alright, so let me just set this back to what it should be. Alright, here's our sign signal generator on A band starting at 160 kilocycles per second. And here is our voltmeter. Let me set this up for you. Alright. For our electromagnetic transverse waves. Hooked up. Grounds connected. And set up as described before. We're going to sweep the frequencies. We're at 180 right now. 200 kilocycles moving up a bit and we're finding a peak around oh let's move to the next setting I'd say oh we maxed out there we're at 250 right now moving up oh let's bring this in I'd say about there is our max as you can see, now let's go to the frequency. The middle dial there, that is going to be 260 kilocycles per second for the electromagnetic transverse waveform. That will be the resonant frequency. Now let's go to our test data and see how this works. Here's our data for the electromagnetic transverse waveform. Resistance, coil, 31 ohms, total length in feet, 800, total wavelength based on quarter wave resonance, 3200 feet, resonant frequency based on the velocity of light will be 307.37 kilocycles per second, actual frequency measured, 261 kilocycles per second, thus a retarded wave, the division or ratio of those two will give us 85% the velocity of light. Now we have a test set up for the transmission of longitudinal magnetodielectric waves. Here we have standard Tesla extra coil, exactly what we used before, 800 feet, all the dimensions previously listed. Now what's different about this is we are using a primary which the end of the blocking cap goes to, so the hot lead of the RF going there, spiraling around the pancake, coupling lightly to the secondary, heading all the way up. And at the top we have a capacitive pickup going to our vacuum tube voltmeter right here. At the neutral end of the coil we have running from the neutral end a capacitive plate for impedance dissimilarity 
so that this is a quarter wave resonance instead of a half wave resonance. Now let's sweep the frequencies with our equipment and see where our resonant point lies. All right. Sweeping now at about 180, 200 kilocycles per second, 250 now. This is previously what we were around for the electromagnet. Now we're moving up. We can see the voltmeter responding. And we max at about, I would say, there. Let's do another sweep just to make sure. 200 kilocycles, nearing 250, 300 voltmeter. Now catching up. Oh, there we go. I'd say about there. Let's take a look where it's at. 3, 310, 320, 330, about 335 kilocycles per second. This is our frequency measured, and we find our greatest resonant point on the voltmeter there also. I outlined the test setup which we were using, provide a circuit diagram later in this video. Now let's go to the descriptions. Here's our data for our longitudinal magnetodielectric waveform. Coil, same as prior, 31 ohms. Total length in feet, 800. Uh, total wavelength based on quarter wave resonance, 3200 feet. Resonant frequency according to the, to the speed of light, 307.37 kilocycles per second. Yet our actual frequency measured was 335 kilocycles per second. Thus, we have an accelerated wave, taking the ratio of these two velocity, two frequencies, excuse me, will give us 1.09 or 1.1 or 110% the velocity of light, which is quite impressive. As Eric Dollard states, this is due to the fact that the energy is now spiraling around and up the coil rather than the previous electromagnetic transfer this is due to the primary action and as he states these longitudinal magnetodielectric waves are bounded in every transformer now getting back to our test data here it's quite interesting the results we've obtained and they're very simple for any researcher or experimenter to do I got my hands on a signal generator and a vacuum tube voltmeter and I decided to test this out and it did work. Very interesting results as I mentioned and comparing this to the retarded wave of the electromagnetic we find that this propagates much quicker. Showing our circuit setup for electromagnetic uh, circuit setup for electromagnetic transverse waves we have an RF generator ground on that goes to the ground on the vacuum tube voltmeter the hot wire don't have it there but it goes to a blocking cap which then goes to the bottom of the neutral end of a large coil and the capacitive pickup of the vacuum tube voltmeter goes to the top right there now what we have here is the longitudinal magnetodielectric wave test setup. Here's our circuit. RF generator. Ground runs to the ground on the vacuum tube voltmeter. The hot wire, don't have it there, but it goes to a blocking cap, which goes to the outside of the primary. The other side of the primary loosely couples to the secondary there. Bottom of the secondary or the neutral end goes to a capacitive plate right there to produce quarter wave resonance instead of half wave and then what we have here is the a capacitive little probe up top on the secondary for our readings for resonance and this is the simple basic setup for longitudinal magnetodielectric waves in future videos 
we will be exploring analog computers as Eric Dollard demonstrates in his one video from Borderland Sciences and their relation to electromagnetic transverse and longitudinal magnetodielectric waves. We'll be using some of this same equipment and hopefully we can get some very interesting results. Just want to thank Eric Dollard for all he's done along with Tesla and the others who've contributed and uh, made this open source. Thank you very much. This was just a small demonstration. We'll be getting much larger in the meantime, but uh, thank you for watching.